Hello everyone, hello. Welcome back to Three Scary Games. So, we are going to be playing first. It's called Late Laundry. Um, I guess we're going to be doing our laundry and it's going to be late. Makes sense. Okay, good. Let's do it. We need to do our laundry. I missed it because I was having a spasm. It's laundry time. All right. at the wrong one. Damn it, I forgot my cleaner juice. Maybe I can get one here. No one seems to be around. I am an employee now. Not what I need. Not what I need. Not, 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 not what I need. Not, not what I need. Hmm. I'm just an employee here. Ah, just what I need. Okay. Okay, I'm no longer an employee here. Ah, time to close up and start it. Darn it. Who would have guessed? Not me. Need my laundry. Needs power. I am an employee again. Locked. But I'm an employee. Great. Where am I supposed to get a working fuse? Thanks, Mysterious Entity. Now the switch. Much better. Need to start the machine again. I'm doing my laundry. Wonder what that noise was on the roof. Oh. How did that fall over? I would like to know what's under the shelves. Okay. How do I crouch around? Oh, there we go. I couldn't crawl under the shelves. Good to know that is here. Laundry finish. Well, I can't hit the bell anymore.
Someone stole it. Are those? And none of my clothes. Okay, I really need to get out of here. To my car! What about my clothes? Frick. <laughs> that was a good one. Car model is by me. Oh. So yeah, that was a uh, late night laundry. I never finished my laundry though. Which will always be upsetting. But yeah, that was late line, late or late laundry. Um, hope you enjoyed. Now we're gonna go on to a second game. All right, in the second game. Is egg fried rice. Is that the TikTok sound that they use for a lot of horror things? Like, give me your answer. I'm half crazy. It's no good. I'm far too hungry. I'm never going to get to sleep. I better see what I've got to eat. Okay. Look for food. That is important. Alright. I like the cat painting. Police. I shouldn't do that without a reason. Friend. Yeah, who is it? It's me! It's a bit late for a chat, ain't it? I can't sleep. So you're calling me in the middle of the night? I could have been fast asleep. Were you? No, of course not. I was just heading out. I'm gonna go visit a friend. I can't talk now. At this time of night? I hope this isn't going to be a repeat of last time. What? No! I told you, I'm never messing with that stuff again. I nearly died that night. And then you practically went into hiding. I'm not in hiding. It was just time for a move. Yeah, convenient timing. I don't need this right now. Well, lucky you, I gotta go. This has been swell. Well, bye. Wait! Haven't you got any advice on how to fall asleep for me? Count sheep. Mother. Maybe mom has a better idea. Some friend. Hello? It's me! I can't sleep. Honey, what time is it? Late. Did I wake you? Yes. Has something happened again? No, I'm just hungry. Then get yourself a snack and go back to bed. If it's something serious, I'll hang up now. I don't want to wake your father. Yeah. Good night. Get some lights on in here. Oh, we got a fridge that's empty.
bread that's expired. You have no torts. Canned food, can openers broken. Cereal, no milk. Okay, I don't have food. Takeaway menu. Chinese takeaway. That could be tasty. It all sounds so good. It's late though, I shouldn't have much. I think I'll just get some egg fried rice. Darn, they don't deliver. It's only a short drive into town. I'll just go and order in person. Okay, go to the takeaway. We'll leave all our lights on. my headlights? Do I have headlights? Okay, there. Chiefs. Hello. Hello, what can I get you? One egg fried rice, of course. That will be two eighty, please. Oh no, I forgot my money. I will quickly drive back to my home and get it. Is that okay? Yes, that is fine. Your food will take a few mi minutes to prepare, so it should be ready by the time you get back. Do not take too long. I must close soon. No problem, I will be quick. I'll be quick. Sir, I'll be quick. Hello there. Have we met before? I don't think so. Hmm, perhaps you're right. But you certainly look familiar. You must be mistaken. My age does that to me from time to time. Well, be careful out there, all the same. Careful why? Don't you read the papers? It's dangerous to be out alone at night. I'll never get used to to the violent sudden towns and cities such as this. I live far in the forest, you see. There's nowhere more peaceful and safe. Though I suppose there are rumors of missing people all the way out there, too. Oh, here I go, where I'm I don't many, get many chances to talk to folks these days. Think on it no more. Okay. What? What? That's right. Order your food.
This will help in the dark. There are coins inside. This will cover my egg for my rice with a coin or two to spare. I'll probably get back and pay. Best parking job in the world. <laughs> hey, I got a favor to ask you, you know. I need a few pennies for the bus. Friends help each other out. Right, friend. Make an excuse. Money's tight, huh? I get it. I'm gonna go pay for my food and then I'll give you pennies. It's really dark in here. Oh, where do I? Oh, you blocked off. Is something wrong? Of course not. I am back with the money. What do you mean? Came in from my egg fry restroom. Did your friend not tell you? You paid for your egg fried rice. My friend? That's the man that came in with you before. He paid up and said he would take your egg fried rice straight to you. He is no friend of mine. You let him take my food? Uh, yes. He said he told me. Oh dear, I'm sorry. We were about to lock up, but... I will ask our chef for another egg, egg carcass. Thank you. That'd be great. Wait right here. I could do that. I don't believe this. Why would that man take my food? What a loser. Here you go. Sorry for the mess up. That's okay. There's no harm done. Here's your money. Thank you. Don't forget to pick up your egg for a rest before you leave. Good night. There's my egg fried rice. There's my egg fried rice. Mmm, looks delicious. Good night. Police have pulled another body from the water less than a mile from downtown. Waffleton? A dog walker who wishes to remain anonymous. Called to report the sighting. Police struggle to free the body from from the weeds for over an hour of the party has yet to be identified and no cause of death has been officially reported, but a source close to the warbler claims that the body was found with multiple stab wounds and lacerations on the arms and legs. Okay. Do you believe in karma? I do, you know.
Fried rice? I don't believe it. What a mess. Did someone throw this at me? I'm getting creeped out. I don't want to hang out here. I better drive slow and get home. I'll sort this out in the morning. I can't do all this now. I just want to eat my egg fried rice. <laughs> Oh, it's, it is the Chinese takeaway. We have a free bottle of beer for you, a free fortune for you too. Please come and collect them. Free? Is this because of the mix up? Yes, that's right. Please come and collect them. Hello? Hang on, look, weird. I could quickly go and pick up that free beer and fortune cookie. My egg fried rice would stay warm if I heard. What should I? I don't know. Egg fried rice sounds really good right now. Yeah, let's go get it. It's too good a mess. Of the car with this sandwich. Guess I'm walking. Oh, well, if I was gonna walk, I'd rather have the egg fried rice. Shoot. Nice free beer. Basically, you just take your drink and go. I was supposed to get a fortune for you, too. Where 
our singy boy. Full throttle. Oh, not this good here. Let's open it. Fortune reigns, everyone makes mistakes. <laughs> Lured into a trap. The stranger had stabbed you multiple times, Lucy, but still alive. You observed him smiling as he watched the life leave your body. He stayed with you until you finally died, murdered for nothing but his sick amusement. He was never caught. Police found the takeaway, staff dead the next day, brutally murdered, revealing the CCTV that led them to you. They found your blood all over your home. It didn't take them long to find your body stuffed inside your fridge, covered in egg fried rice. Okay, so I got a few different endings to this. Oh. So that was uh, egg fried rice. Um, accidentally started it. Um, but yeah. So I'll go on to the second, or the third game. Okay, and the final game is Night Reception. Alright, play as a receptionist. It was just another regular shift for me, you know, checking guests in, finding their rooms, and making sure they were settled. Nothing out of the ordinary, except I wasn't in the best mood that night. I had a fight with my girlfriend before heading. She was upset, saying, I work too much, never have time for us. Honestly, it felt like just another argument. I figured out, I figured once the night ended, I'd smooth things over. As usual, the guests arrived, and I did my job. Greet them, pull up their reservation, and guide them to their homes, or their rooms. Simple, right? But that night, there was something different in the air. Maybe it was just me, but... Greet them, pull up their reservation, and guide them to their rooms. Maybe it was just me, but I couldn't shake the feeling that something wasn't quite right, and it turns out I wasn't wrong. Okay. Hello to you. Good evening, my name is Victor. I booked a room for the night. Of course, Mr. Victor. Follow me, I'll show you to your room. Thanks, been traveling all day. I hope the room's comfortable. Victor. Room six. Oh. Okay, got the key. Don't do that with your neck. Alright, here's your room. I have to like walk through it all. Here we are, Mr. Victor. If you have any, if you need anything or have any complaints, feel free to call the front desk. Thanks, all you know if I need anything. Appreciate it. Okay. Night. I've never had a hotel staff actually take me to my room. 
I don't know if this is like an older thing, like from like the, the 90s or something, like when they used to do that. I don't know. I just want a TV. I have a reservation under Evelyn. Certainly, Evelyn. I'll take you to your room. Follow me, please. Thanks. It's a bit late, isn't it? This place feels so quiet. Let me see. Room one. Don't like this. All right, Evelyn, here's your room. Here's your room, Evelyn. If you need anything or have any issues, just call the front desk. Thank you. Keep that in mind. The room seems nice. Good. Don't smile at me. Do you like people? No. Hey, name's Scarlet. I have a reservation, right? Yes, yeah, Scarlet. Let me show you around. I don't even look. Great. Lead the way. This place is kind of creepy, don't you think? Right, Scarlet. Room 12. Wow, look at your room. This is your room, Scarlet. Give me your requests or concerns. Feel free to call the front desk. Got it. Let's hope I don't need to. Thanks. Yeah. I swear, all three of them are just poshing me constantly. Their heads, like, freaked out. I better water the plants until the new customers arrive. Hey, what are you doing here? It's the middle of the night. Aren't you a little too old to be playing on a swing? Old? Who's counting the years anymore? Time stops here in this place. What do you mean? Shouldn't you be in your room or home? Home? I've been waiting here, watching. You've noticed it too, haven't you? Notice what? You're not making any sense. You'll see soon enough. We all do, eventually. What are you talking about? What will I see? They always come when the lights go out. Water? Just doing reception work. Oh, hi. Hi, I'm Lydia. Can you take me to my room, please? Of course, Lydia. I'll take you right now. Follow me. Thank you. I just I need to get settled quickly. Right. There you go. Enjoy. Oh, room 10. I was spelling it wrong. I like how they're always smiling. Alright, here's your room. Here's your room, Lydia. If you need anything or have any problems, just call us. 
Thank you. I, I will. Okay, you can not be in the doorway. I appreciate that. Um, you want some cologne? Evening, the name's Damien. I think I have a room reserved near room 11? Yes, Damien. Let me show you your room. Perfect, let's hope for a peaceful night. Lather up. Is that enough? Tell me when. Um, oh, it has to be cut. Your room, baby, and feel free to call the front desk if you need it. Oh, I will, if necessary. Thanks. Um, always busy. Baby, this is the hotel kitchen. It's time for the dinner service. How many meals should we prepare for our guests tonight? Good evening. We'll need five meals. Got it. Five minutes. We'll have them ready and send them to the lobby in about 15 minutes. Perfect. Thanks. You're welcome. If there's anything else, feel free to give us a call. Right. They get meals made and delivered. Hey, here are the meals you ordered. Five in total. Ronald, what are you doing here? Thanks, you seem in a hurry. Yeah, the faster I finish, the quicker I can end my shift and get out of here. This place gives me the creeps at night. I get it. Same here anyway. Thanks to you. No problem. Take care. Do I take it to the hotel room? Alright, Ronald. You just hang out there. It's a one, six. No, oh, you scared me. Whoa, sorry, I was about to jump. No. I guess I was a little too eager for my dinner. No harm done. Here's your meal. Thanks, I'm sorry about that. You really caught me off guard. That's alright. If you need anything, just let me know. We'll get over to that. So it's one, six, ten, eleven, and twelve. Here's your dinner. Ah, finally, I'm starving. Thanks. No problem. If you need anything else, just go. We'll do enjoy the rest here now. Delivery. Dinner delivery, Scarlet. Thank you. I was just about to ask when it would arrive. Here you go. Let us know if you need. Sure thing. Enjoy your evening. Ronald, don't try anything. I don't trust you. Here's your middle, Lydia. Oh, thank you. This place is so quiet. It's eerie. Yeah, it's definitely peaceful. If you need anything, feel free to call. Thanks, well, have a good night. Here's your dinner, Damien. Appreciate it. it. Took you long enough. Sorry for the wait. Anything else you need? Not for now. But I'll let you know. Oh. Okay. 
First of all, rude. Alright, I totally heard all the males. Great. Are there going issues? Not really, but one of the guests said uh, they thought someone knocked on the door earlier. It wasn't me. Hm. Could have been another guest. These places can play tricks on your mind at night. Yeah, maybe. Anyway, thanks for the quick service. I'll be glad when my shift's over. I hear you. I've got one more round of deliveries, and I'm out of here, too. Hang in there. Will do. Have a good night. You, too. Stay safe out there. Okay. Mr. Davis, what are you doing here? I didn't expect to see you. You actually scared me for a second. Oh, sorry about that. I didn't mean to. I'm staying in room three tonight, just checking in on things after the power went out. Right, I forgot you were staying here. Everything's fine now. I just have to reset the breakers. Good, good. I was worried something more serious happened. The power can be tricky sometimes. Yeah, it's all sorted now. Well, since you're here, the reception desk looks... A bit messy, don't you think? Could you tidy it up before the guests are noticing? Sure, I'll take care of it right now. Thanks, I'll head back to my room then. Let me know if anything else goes wrong. Right. When do they look like this? Okay. Oh, is this the reception? I'm Scarlet in room 12. Listen, something strange just happened. Well, the power's out. Someone tried to open my door. I thought it was you, but I didn't see anyone when I checked. That's unsettling. I'm really sorry about that. I'll come up right away and take a look. Okay, thank you, but please hurry. I feel really uneasy. Hello? Who is this? Is this some kind of joke? If you're messing with me, stop now. Say something. Who are you? If you don't stop, I'm calling the police. This isn't funny. They already hung up. Well, they didn't know I was going to call the cops. Joke's on them. I already did. Scarlet, open the door. Is something wrong? I can't hear you. Alright, I'm gonna force it open. This, how could this be here? Maybe it'll come in handy. <laughs> what? But I hope I don't have to use it. What? This has gone too far. I can't handle this anymore. I need to get to the reception and call the police right away. Emergency services, what's going on? Someone's in one of the rooms. A woman is screaming for help. I think she's in danger. Where are you right now? I'm at the reception of motel. Someone broke into her room and she's calling for help. Stay calm, we're sending officers now.
Finally over, I managed to survive, but Scarlet is still missing. The police will handle the rest now. I don't know what really happened tonight, but I know I'll never forget it. This place will always remind me of the fear, the danger, and how close I came to losing everything. Now I just want to leave this nightmare behind. Thank you for playing Night Reception. If you enjoy the game and want to support me in the making even better games, feel free to to help me escape my trusty old 1050 PC. Your support can make all the difference. Okay. So that was three scary games. Um, all of them are really good. Um, yeah. I'll leave um, links in the description for all the games. And yeah. I have a bunch of other games downloaded, so I'll be getting to a bunch of other scary games and making more of these before October is over. Um, yeah, hope you enjoyed. Thanks. Bye.